We're going to change gears a little bit. Uh, the actual collaboration tools and publishing dashboards, uh, we've covered most of that anyway. So now we're going to talk about site administration. Okay, If you are a site admin or you're in IT and you've got to manage the site itself, how do you do it? All right? And there's a few things we're going to consider. The very first thing is, where is my site? Where is my server? So you've got a few options. The main three that I can think of and the ones that I usually deal with are Tableau Online, which is the online, which is what we've been using for this tutorial, is the server that is hosted and managed by Tableau themselves. Okay, the great thing is it's free. Okay, all you need to do is you're buying your licenses, but the server itself, management, is free. Okay, that's the first option. The second one is a on-premises server installed into something on your on your company. So let's say you work for I don't know, a big bank, you'll have servers in your basement or wherever it may be, and you install it, much like you install any other software on your laptop or on your computer. Okay, what's the difference as well? You now have to provide their own server. Okay, so you have to have someone setting up, managing, maintaining the server. You need someone who can manage the Tableau server itself, that the actual software. You need someone to manage all the upgrades, all the, if there's a problem with the server, someone needs to fix it. So you need to hire staff, basically. It's obviously more expensive to do that because now you have to hire people, okay? But the benefit is you control the server. You control how many nodes, you control how many, um, what the performance is, how much RAM you want to put, how much memory, how you segregate it. That's completely up to your corporation. Most of the time, if you're working for a big company, they're going to go, on premises just because they want to control their data they want to know exactly where it is who has access etc the story I heard is if for example you're some some institution and Tableau want to install install the Tableau server for uh, on your premises they are physically not allowed to touch anything they can direct but they're not allowed to touch how true that story is I do not know but I suppose if you had highly sensitive information let's say you're in banking then probably not I'm sure that there's like security that they have to follow okay the third option which is kind of my favorite the one I like the most is you have a server that is hosted by someone else okay so you've basically outsourced the management of the server it's still your server in an essence but you're not the one maintaining it. And one example that I like to use is the company called Interworks. And if you look on this page, there's links on it as well if you need it. So what are what do Interworks do? Well, one of the things they do is they will host the server for you. So they will manage the whole thing. You pay them a premium, right? And uh, you'll have to get a quote from them exactly how much it is. It is quite affordable because what they do is they use AWS. They use Amazon Web Services. They will manage it, they will build it um, to your specifications, they'll install Tableau Server, you just have to pay them for the server, for the service, okay? They can do it as well, I think, for Microsoft Azure. Depends on your company, your IT guys will know exactly what to do in terms of the choice. So what's better, what's the best? Well, it really depends. The on-premises is more expensive, it's the most expensive because you have to hire people. Right, Tableau Online is okay, but you may run into privacy issues because the servers are may not be located on, um, on your in your own country. So, if you're for example in Australia, the servers are in the U.S. The data laws are different. Is that an issue for your company? That's up to your company, right? So, Interworks, if you're using AWS, for example, they have servers all across the planet, and maybe we can actually look this up. So, I've got some links here. Okay, let's have a look at the AWS infrastructure. So you can look here and you can see how many zones and locations that they have. So you can see all the servers. So if you live in Australia, there's one in Sydney. Okay, or if you live, you know, over here, or over here, or over here, or whatever you're living, they can build it wherever you want. They will also maintain the server, they'll do all the maintenance, all the upgrades. That's basically what you pay them for. That's like my favorite option. Now, in terms of the licensing costs, it's the same across the board because your server costs are different, are separate from your actual user costs. So if you have desktop designers, you're paying for that, plus you're play, paying for the server. Now you may think that's a hell of a lot of money, and it is, but there's a reason. C 
because it's so damn good. Okay, so maybe you're going to be spending for a relatively large company, let's say a million dollars a year on all this infrastructure, right? All this, all the licensing. And you're like, well, that's quite a lot of money. But really look at it from your ROI. How much are you actually going to gain with the technology versus how much it will cost? So as a percentage, let's say that $1 million, um, which funnily enough, when you introduce just a few licenses, a lot of the times with what Tableau can do, it already saves you a million dollars with just those first few that, you know, it's kind of already paid for itself. That's a nice way to kind of argue it, okay? The next thing is the scaling in elasticity. If you've never heard of that, I'm not an expert, by the way, in servers and all that kind of stuff, so don't completely quote me. But if you have, for example, a massive laptop, right? It's got heaps of computing power. It's got the most up-to-date gear and hardware, and you've got all these specs, right? And you've invested, like, let's say, $10,000 on it. But all you do is watch YouTube videos. It's kind of underutilized. But it doesn't matter. You've already paid for the laptop. You've already paid for those resources. This is one of the limitations of on-premises. So when I build a server, let's say I'm going to put 100 RAM in it. Whether I use it or not is irrelevant. I've already paid for it, okay? When it comes to cloud technology, you only pay for what you use because it can do what's called scaling, right? It's elastic. So let's say I've only got a small company. We're just starting up. We're not doing a lot of Tableau. Maybe I'll just buy a few RAM, so it'll cost me a few bucks. But my company grows and the performance required is a lot higher, then it scales up, right? It just grows. They just add more RAM to it. But let's say we get more efficient, um, we've had a buyout, we've had to let half of our people go, then it scales back down. Okay, so it is relative to your usage. That is one of the, you know, the biggest factors of cloud technology in that it's not fixed, right? Again, same with Tableau Online, it's the same thing. Now let's talk about security and privacy. Again, with cloud, uh, with Tableau Online being hosted by Tableau themselves, you only have about three options, right? in terms of where it's going to be hosted. That could be an issue for you. Again, that's why it's a good thing to have a company like Interworks or other providers that can choose where the server goes. They can choose what settings you want, the security settings, what privacy you want. That's totally up to you. On-premises, right, this middle one, you have complete control over how the security and the privacy works. So that's one of the big ups of on-premises. But these days, is it significantly better than cloud? I don't think so. I think because Amazon are so good, right? And they're so massive. And also, Amazon's not the only provider. There's other ones too. Um, that their security is just as good, if not better, than on-premises. Okay? So final recommendation, right, to close this off. Tableau Online is absolutely fantastic to get your company going. Do you have to eventually go on-premises or a hosted server? No, if your company is totally happy with Tableau Online and there's no privacy issues and it does the job, stay on online forever if you can, you know, because it's free. You know, why manage it yourself when Tableau will do it for you, okay? When privacy and performance start becoming an issue, then yes, maybe you'll have to consider the other two. Um, in my opinion, I would probably go for a hosted one rather than on-prem. On-prem is just, there's just so much infrastructure required. There's a lot of paperwork, right? You have to employ people. It's a lot of work. And you're not totally sure of what resources you may require. So you may have to ask for additional funding or maybe you've employed too many people. You don't know. With cloud, it's a lot more flexible, right? Let's say you buy a lot thinking you're going to need a lot. And they say, actually, you're using only about 10% of what you paid for. Do you want to just scale it back? You're like, sure. And they can do it almost in an afternoon, if not instantaneously. That's the beauty of cloud. Okay? So that, in a nutshell, is what I think in terms of the three tools. Totally up to you which one you choose. This PDF is also available if you want to download it. Um, and that's it. So I hope you enjoyed, then. I'll see you next time.